Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to The Icing Artist. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cover this square cake and fondant. It's super simple, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is level your cake. Just cut off that puffy part and then you can just eat that. And then I'm just going to pipe a border going around the center of my cake and that's going to help hold in the filling. So that way it doesn't puff out on the edges when you cover it in fondant. Place your other cake on top and then you're ready to crumb coat it. A crumb coat is just a really thin coat of icing just to seal in all the crumbs so that way it doesn't get into your finish. And you just want to do that going around the cake. You can let that set in the fridge for about five minutes and if you want you can do a thicker coat of icing and then put that back in the fridge for another about 10 minutes. And then you just want to use a fondant smoother or even a piece of paper towel and that's just really going to help smooth out your icing, give you a nice clean finish for your fondant to go onto. Now I'm just going to use some piping gel and I'm just going to do a really thin coat going around the bottom of my cake. And what the piping gel does is it really makes a nice tight seal with your fondant so that way it really sticks to the bottom and doesn't lift up on the edges. Now I'm going to roll my fondant out on my mat so I'm just determining the size of fondant that I'm going to need to roll out. So I'm going to probably need to roll this whole sheet out in fondant so that way I'll cover the cake properly. So after your fondant's incorporated, I just, I'm just going to smush my fondant into the shape that I'm going to roll out, which is a square. If you have it already in a circle, then you're going to have a lot more waste than if you start with a square and you end up with a square. Turn your mat every so often so that way you're continually getting that same square shape that you're looking for with your fondant. and then you're ready to cover it. So the nice thing about using one of these plastic sheets is you can adjust it as needed. You just lift it up and kind of move it over and then you can get in the place that you want. And then you just peel back the sheet and the fondant will stick to the cake. Now immediately you're just going to use some scissors and just cut off that excess weight the weight of the fondant is very heavy and if you don't cut off the extra weight you might get some rips and tears in the corners of your fondant. Once that's done you want to do all four corners and what you're doing is you're just going to pull it out and then just push in on the corner and then the edges. Once you're done doing that on all four corners then you can just smush in the edges of it with your hand which is really just pushing it in. And just use a fondant smoother just to make sure it's really nice and smooth and silky. And then you're ready to do your final trim. So I'm just using a paring knife and just doing a really tight trim going around the bottom of my cake. And then you can just peel that back. Now usually what you do is just finish this off with a border and then put any decorations you'd like to on top of it. If you'd like to see how I decorate this cake like this, like a beautiful engagement cake, you can click here and that'll take you right to the video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I do lots of videos every Tuesday.